Will he come in here with the door open? Or closed, I mean? Hey guys, welcome to a new game called Parasonomia? I don't know, maybe? It's, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, but it doesn't seem right, but anyway. There, there is, uh, no rem. Um, we're gonna check it out. Basically, what I do understand is that we are sleepwalking. And we have two different realities going on. I don't know, it sounds pretty interesting. Let's check it out. Oh, very pretty. Oh. Joseph, Officer Joseph reporting in. I'm on my way to the Miller residence. Any additional information? No. The caller sounded nervous, mentioned the screams coming from the Miller's residence. That's probably not good. Do we have any information on the residence? The father is known for being a retired military officer, George Miller. He lives with his wife and two children. In a dirt road, apparently. Approaching the location in one minute. Keeping the radio active. Joseph out. Copy that, officer. Proceed with caution. So are we playing as the cop? I thought we were playing as the person that was sleepwalking. Hmm. The gate's locked. From the outside. I was very getting some slight Resident Evil vibes here. Oh. Alright, a little fast. Maybe adjust the speed of the. Just a little bit better. Alright. Shift to run. Alright. I need something to take this away. Well, how about I just pull out my revolver? Or pistol or whatever I have. In the trunk. Oh. Yeah, I carry both. There's often. Um, incident report. All right, disturbance. The Bell residence. Noise complaint. James Joseph. Uh, this is me. All right. Narrative. On October twelfth, approximately twenty three eleven oh eight, the police dispatch received an anonymous call reporting screams and strange noises coming from the Liberty Bell residence, located at the Road of Fog, approximately two kilometers off Route forty seven. Brooksville Revolt House, far from the city. The caller sounded nervous. Officer Joseph was assigned to the case and immediately responded to the call. He is currently en route to the sign address via Route 47. All right. Well, let's just keep that, I guess. Yeah. This ought to work. Ah. Uh -huh. What is that? Oh, it's a flower. Uh, use. Do not say you broke the bolt cutters. Okay, at least I'm leaving them behind. How do I... There we go. All the way. There we go. Oh, cool. Flashlight. Whoa. Did I just see something over there? No. Alright, this doesn't look like a haunted house. There's so many lights on the wall. Oh, that's probably not good. Why would I kick it open? Why don't I just knock first? Or, you know, try the doorknob. Good door. Using your face? That works. Yep, it opens better that way. Oh my god, I just shattered the door. Okay. What was that? He hooks. Twenty thirteen, okay. This is Saturday. As you may have noticed, my office pretty much died down, but it's still there if I talk way too much yet. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's a bad sign. Oh, no. This is where I pull out my 
Crystal, hello. Oh, it's always a basement. the red door. Not good. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to be night walking. Or not night walking. Sleepwalking. <laughs> okay. What? There's somebody over there? Oh, they're... Oh, I thought they were running around the corners of the room and staying in the dark. Oh, that's a little one. That's not good. Well, none of this is good, but... but so? It's open. Why is it open? Ow! Was that just... Did someone just hit me in the back of the head? What's going on? I'm being dragged. This is not good. Where's my partner? Why didn't I have a partner? I don't like this. What are you doing? Oh! Finally home. I can't wait to go to bed and get some sleep. Oh, so I was like a... Like a... A glimpse of the future or whatever. Okay. Oh, that's fascinating. Okay. I've been meaning to quit. We'll go down there later. Oh yeah, these glow in the dark. Oh, it's wet. I have a very big house. I should go to sleep. Where is that at? Huh. Nice family. I think that's me, or is that me? Probably one of the parents. I close my eyes while I'm standing up. Oh god, that scared the crap out of me. Okay, so I can close my eyes while I'm... Yeah, because this is me closing my eyes if I, if I right click. That's weird. Where is my room? Oh my god, how many rooms does this house have? I must be rich. Oh. Finally, door can open. I haven't slept in a so long I thought I've forgotten where I left my pajamas. Okay. But what's down here? Okay. 
Oh okay, yeah, I thought that kid had horns. No. What's this? Okay. Sleeping pills, 100 milligrams. Do not consume more than three per week. Do not suddenly... <coughs> Excuse me. Do not suddenly stop these medications. Great addiction and dependency. You're likely to feel dizzy during the day or problems remembering. On rare occasions, you may be able to make phone calls or drive while you are asleep. Okay. That's not good. What's this? Hey, crouch. Missing. George Miller. Charlie Miller. Billy Allen. Isn't that a singer? Allen? Anyway. Disappearance of a policeman. Disappearance of a family and a policeman. Wait, is this the, the future? Like the police thing was all in the past? Huh. I thought it was like a pretty cool thing. Okay. Oh yeah, so this is all... Who is he? Oh. Okay. Interesting. Ten years without answers. The disappearance of a family and a policeman. Unres unresolved mystery. Ten years have passed since that night on October 12th. Ten years? Oh. 2013. When a case that shocked the local community became one of the darkest and most perplexing enigmas of our recent his history. On that day, an entire family was attacked in their home, and a brave policeman who responded to the call for help disappeared without a trace. Today, a decade later, the case remains unsolved, leaving investigators and the community with more questions than answers. It was around 11 p.m. when a local police station received an anonymous call. Somebody was pleading for help. Officer James... Joseph was dispatched immediately to the scene, but what he encountered that night remains a mystery. And upon arriving at the Miller residence, according to records, also Joseph faced an alarming situation. Didn't they just say it remains a mystery? Okay, anyway. Um, upon arriving, according to records, uh, Officer Joseph faced an alarming situation. However, shortly after his arrival, communications with him was lost. Reinforcements arrived minutes later, only to find the house in a state of absolute chaos. Of the Miller family, only one member was found alive, but in critical condition. He was rushed to intensive care, where he managed to recover after a long and arduous process. So am I the one that survived? The clues are scant and confusing. No bodies were found, neither the family members nor Officer Joseph. The disappearance of so many people without leaving tangible traces led investigators to speculate about the possible presence of a third individual. Someone who might have acted with unprecedented, unprecedented precision and violence. Over the years, various theories have been considered from a robbery gone wrong, the possible involvement of an organized criminal network. Each line of investigation seemed to vanish into a labyrinth of false leads and dead ends. Today, on the 10th anniversary of that tragic event, we remember the Miller family and Officer James Joseph, who vanished on the night of horror. This case reminds us of the fragility of safety in our homes and the importance of not letting our such heinous crimes be forgotten. Authorities are calling on anyone who may have relevant information to come forward. The memory of this treasure remains alive in the collective consciousness, and the search for the truth continues to be a priority for all those who refuse to accept such an atrocious crime. Okay. Ten years since my family disappeared. I want to find the damn person who did this. I understand that. But let's get some sleep. It explains why he has trouble sleeping. Where are my pajamas? What's in here? I have no clothing. Weird. Why is that my mom's favorite painting? I wonder why. I could just, I have no idea. Alright. Much better. 
Yes, yes it is. Now let's see if those sleeping pills work. Oh, here goes nothing. Dream Lab. Melatonin. Okay. 10 milligram. That's actually... Not that... I don't... Can't... I've taken this before, melatonin. I don't think I've ever sleepwalked with them. Interesting. I like the lights on. <laughs> My clock is really spinning. Why does that happen? Hello? Sound is gone. Charlie? Oh, what the hell? Oh, what the hell? This is my sleepwalking body. Oh, this is so weird. What's that? Oh. What's that? Is that like a grandfather clock? Why is he sad? Is that me? Oh, that's not good. The red door. Why? <gasps> the mannequin's gone. I don't like it. My favorite toy is a child. It looks like there's something inside, but I can't get it out. Okay, so we gotta find a knife. Okay. Something's different. This is nothing. Okay, so yeah, something's definitely different. I don't like those lights. Why is it doing that? Oh, a oh, clock. You killed him. Killed who? Who did I kill? Oh, I must need a key. Uh, I can't read that. What does it say? <gasps> no. Levy. Levy? Levy. <laughs> oh, wait. I just saw something. Oh, I guess fuzzy. There's something there for me to look at. I see. It's time. It's time for what? What's it time for? You all have no eyes. Okay. I 
that a key rack? Oh, the key for the door back there. Probably. Yes, I'll take them. Keep. I don't know if I like this. Is that the cop opening the doors with his face again? Oh, he's gone. Ah! I... Did I die? Good morning. Workroom key. Okay. Do I just go back to bed? I shouldn't rest now. Okay. Workroom's key. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh, water heater on the wall. I've never seen that before. Cool. Oh, no, leave that on. Oh. Why is it like across? Oh, there's one here. Okay. Oh, it's the door I triggered on. Oh. Oh. Okay. What's this key for? Is it for the door with that picture on the door? Wait, this is this is where I started. Okay. So that's the baby's room. My room, I guess. Down here was Yeah, this picture. This one here. Hello? Okay. Okay, the chair startled me for a second because I thought that was somebody sitting there. So this is the what you call the workroom, really? What do you work on here? Getting drunk? The war changed him. Since he returned, he was no longer the same. That looks like a younger Robin Williams. Anyway. Psychological report. Uh, patient information. Name Le Levy Miller. Levy? Le Levy? Levy. I don't know. I've never actually seen the name spelled. I don't know what it is. Anyway, mail, uh, 2000. Oh, so, yeah, I, uh, this must have been me. Alright, age 10, primary, Nicholas, uh, okay. Levy was brought in for consultation by his mother due to recurrent episodes of sleepwalking. That explains it, okay. That began approximately six months ago, occurring several times a week. During these episodes, Levy would get out of bed, walk around the house, and sometimes engage in activities such as opening doors or moving objects. These episodes usually last between 5 and 15 minutes after which he returns to bed or wakes up in another room. Clinical interview with a child and mother. Sleep disturbances scale for children. Okay. During the evaluation, the patient appeared alert but exhibited signs of fatigue and some emotional withdrawal. Although he maintains a good relationship with his mother, his behavior suggests a mix of insecurity and anxiety, which seems related to the birth of his younger brother and events that have left an impact on his psychological profile. He showed unstable emotional reactions, particularly when discussing topics related to his family and daily life. The results of the evaluation suggest that Levy so exhibits symptoms of parasomnia. Sonomia? Parasomnia. No rem. I don't know. I, I am saying they're wrong. I have to be, I think. <laughs> the CBCL score reveals slight elevation in sleep problems related to the family environment, indicating that traumatic experiences and, and nightmares are influencing his nighttime and general behavior. 
David described his dreams experiences as disturbing. In his dreams, he feels unable to run when needed, cannot read texts, and the images in his environment are distorted. Additionally, there is a recurrent presence of disturbing entities during the course of his sleep, which suggests a significant level of distress that may be contributing to his disorders. Cool. Well, not cool, but, you know, cool. George Miller. 1989. Okay. What's this little one? Can I read that? Oh. Individual therapy sessions to help process his traumatic experiences, including managing his night nightmares and developing healthy coping mechanisms. Consider an evaluation with a sleep specialist if the episodes persist or worsen. All right. Check the other doors. You killed him. I did not. Can't prove it. Oh, it was 10. I mean, a 10-year-old can't kill somebody, but it's not likely. Well, I think this door's unlocked. Um, in the silence of the night, in the deepest, deep darkness, I am the spirit that terrifies everyone. In the painting, my form is demonic and sinister, sitting upon the chest of a sleeping woman. Innocent and vulnerable, her dreams I appear, I steal her hopes, I entertain myself in her mind, Next to a horse, our connection is complete. It's my mother's favorite painting. Painting demonic woman horse. Yeah. So. I think I see a painting like that, but where? Yeah, I know where. Oh! Shit, you again! Oh, you. No, you. Oh, no, you don't. Crap, I went the wrong way. <gasps> oh, crap. Right? Oh, okay. Will he come in here with the door open? Or closed, I mean? Yeah. F. Yeah, grab the key. Oh, he's gone. Oh, I got back a little more. Okay, oh, you're still here. Hi! So I'm guessing he can't come in doors. Oh, it's this one over here. Here. No, this is not it. All the way down here, okay. Yeah, here it is. Close, close. Okay. Yeah, he stays out. I'm ready for this time. All right. What is this? I have a king. Okay, we got a king piece. crap out of me. Alright, what do, what do I do with King? Oh, my head is burning. Why? Whoa. Whoa. 
My body not responding. Ow, I think I just let him face. Oh, I'm asleep again. Alright, so now I'm sleepwalking again. I really, I'm really liking this. This is cool. What is that? Oh, it's the key. Okay. Oh, I have a flashlight. I'm sleeping. We haven't really gone downstairs yet. Hey. Kick the ball. What is this room? Have we been in here? Oh, this is the bathroom and the laundry room thing. Oh, weird. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like. Me hates lights. Me hate lights. Who hates lights? Okay. Who hate lights? I don't know. So if I turn this off, okay, it just stays on. You know what? I'm I'm kind of happy about that. Oh! Portal to hell? Here, we got a music box handle. Oh, you probably go to that thing in there. Is that a music box? Me hate. Was it, was it me hates lights? Yeah, me hates lights. Why am I doing this? Oh! For being locked, I enjoy that it's locked. Maybe I only have a certain amount of time to do something. doing this? Why am I doing this? This is stupid! I don't like this!
Oh. Oh. Okay, I had a knife. Now I don't have a knife. I don't understand. What am I doing? Do I do this again? No, I can't do that again. Oh! Oh, I didn't. I thought I picked it up the first time. Okay, now we have a knife. Pull it out. Can I use it? I hear a laughing child and I want to use a knife. Okay. A child that should be dead, apparently. So it's not as bad as it sounds. This is very dangerous. Such a fire hazard. You going this way? Oh, crap. Oh, hi. But, uh, teddy bear surgery. I has my name carved. Why is it in here? Oh, it's a pendant. Okay. So I'll be going. Ah! I'm gonna flip my chair back one of these days. <laughs> okay, so I'm in a room. I'm gonna say closet at first. Pizza. And beer bottles and pills everywhere. What kind of house? Okay. What is wrong with me? Okay, it's a lamp at the end of a hallway. Oh, I open it towards me. Hold on here. A lamp at the end of a hallway. No. Am I just now am I now going to the ground stairs? Is that what's going on? Here. Maybe. Let's check the other hallways before I go down there. Well, there is no other hallways. That's locked. This one over here was locked too. Right? Okay, so we're going down to the basement. I still have a chess piece. I don't know what it's for. Why is it so. Oh, okay. Oh, I has bucket. Nice green light. So inviting. Fascinating. Ch 
Charlie. Oh, hello. Oh, man, that was good. Oh. I want to know more. All right, that was a great game. I really enjoyed that. Um, I don't know what the king was for. I must have missed something. I'll leave that up to you guys to figure out what it was. But, yeah, this is great. Um, it'll be down in the description if you want to check out yourselves. I highly recommend it. Um, but, yeah. It was, there's not much else to say about it. Let's, let's just click and continue. I'll just see back here. But anyway, yeah. Um, please let me know what you thought down in the comments. I'd love to hear your opinions on it. Um, but yeah, please leave a like and a subscribe. Um, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you. Bye.